Hey, welcome to the Archer tutorial. And uh, this is Poot Ninja, and we have uh, Ro ready, uh, Sona, who else is here? Uh, Sienna and X. Uh, so today, right, right, right. as Poop said, we'll be discussing the Archer like we did the Mage before. Um, so let's get started. Wow. Oh my god. Let's get more monotonous though. Please. <laughs> Okay. More monotony. So what are archers <laughs> for? Well, you can play... Archers are probably the best class for d damage per second. So uh, it's the def it's one of the best classes to use for CB. Um, some some teams use it for frontline. I don't suggest it. I, I only say if you're making an archer, you should mainly focus on making it for CB. Don't so, listen to him, guys. No. <laughs> Absolutely good for everything. Archer is the best class for okay, everything. So, what are the stats to prioritize as an archer? Well, since I said they're for damage per second, you uh, archer's attacks are based on attack and the M attack stats. So, when you're making an archer, you want to maximize on both of these stats first. So, that means the archer, you have to end up with six weapon slots and six pet slots. To maximize your damage and of course archers require wind pets and they, their main weapon of use is our bows so what skills do you want to use as an archer well archer can be a support or can be uh, a damage most of the time you're gonna see a damaging archer so the go-to skills are uh, image shot Wait, oh, one second uh -oh. is <laughs> Image Shot, which is ability power 80 and it does 5 hits. The 5 hits are random, it can be either magic or physical. And of course all of Archer's damaging attacks that are good are mostly going to start or have a chance to miss. Another good Pretty Archer sure it's Imaginary Shot, bro. <laughs> imaginary I'm just Shot. Kidding. Sorry. Okay, so the next skill is Lethal Strikes. So this one is, it does physical and magic also but this one's not random it'll do three physical and three magic so that's one of the reasons why when you're making an archer you want to have attack and magic stats because they use both uh, types of abilities and the other uh, good attacking skill is high circle snipe same same logic it's just less hits and <laughs> Something good to use with these two circle attacks are Hunt. So what does Hunt do? Not o it's From reading Hunt, it, you don't think like it will actually help boost the damage, but if you look at the actual skill and you click details, you'll see that there's a combo effect. So when used after Hunt, the ability power of these skills get boosted. Now, so... That's one way of making an archer. The other way, if you're playing support, World Tree Blessing is really good. Um, and um, and then uh, buffs are really good too. So Wind of, Wind of Courage. So that's about it for the skills. Now, how do you proc these skills? So this is the tricky part about archers. There's so many paths you can take to proccing these skills. So looking at my bows, I have Alice, Alice Bow first because I like to use the Alice Blessing. So as you guys know, uh, Alice Blessing is the, you can either have the ribbon and the dress set or you can have the rabbit set. So, but it has to be the same. And they do the same thing, they do the same, uh, they boost attack and M attack by 5% each once you have the whole set. Now. What type of procs do you want? So to uh, to <clears throat> proc these skills, you want to have Fatal Testament, which procs all of the attacking archer skills. Now, that's one good way of that's a safe way of going about it. It's really good for PVE and uh, P uh, PVP. It's okay too. Um, the other type is you can actually go for single attack skills. So Deadeye Bows, Proc, High Circles, and Lethal Strikes. So if you have a lot of Deadeye Bows and Fatal, I say just use Lethal Strikes and High Circle and don't think about using Image. Um, so this one is an Image Bow. So in this case, if you have a lot of Image Bows and, 
and fatals you would use image imaginary shot and lethal strikes because lethal strikes is the stronger of the circles and so basically I'm I don't have all the great archery equipments like there's fatal testament XX elbows <coughs> <coughs> And the reason why Fatal is not the best is because you can, if you double proc a Fatal, it's the same as just single procking it. So what most archers do is they run Fatal Testament gear. Okay, so Fatal Testament gear. So these are, you can have helmets or you can have the armors. And basically you don't need to max these at all, you just need a skill level 5. So what most archers do for CB wise is they have these in their equipment slots and for bows they mostly equip actual like they equip fatals and then the remaining bows are usually like the single proc skills. One of the best bows to have are the RGB bow which procs let me show you it. So this one procs basically all of the archer skills. So this is like one of the best bows to have. And the old RGB RGB bow is also pretty good. The old RGB bow, it, it's mostly for Deadeye and not imaginary shot. So if you have a lot of Deadeyes, this is, this is probably the best cheap bow to get. <laughs> so that's it for the equipments. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about that, just sh put it in the comments and we'll try to answer it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to cover about archers. Uh, since we have our guest star proof, we can ask him some questions. <laughs> what did you mention that for archers? I mean, usually you would want um, six weapons and six monsters. Yes, that was like the so first thing I said. So your your thing would be. Oh, you said that already? Oh, yeah. My bad. Who's not paying attention? Oh, yeah, no, you're not. I fell paying asleep attention. within the Kick first five seconds. Ass. You know, first five seconds, I fell asleep. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> um. All right. What's that? What's now? Question uh, time. Yep. Um. So fire away at questions for poop. Oh man. On the spot now. <laughs> Nobody has questions. All right. We're good. All right. Well then. <laughs> Uh, so Poop, how do you manage in quests? Because archers are very glass, so how do you go about quests? What does glass mean? Glass, glass means that they have high attack and stats and low defense Low stats. defense, yes. So how do you go about it during quests? Do you like just die? I, no, I get carried, that's what I do. <laughs> Love getting carried, it's my favorite thing to do. No, that's my job. <laughs> Our whole guild loves getting carried. Uh, uh, no, you just try to put as much defense as you can, really. Um, I mean, depending on the boss, you would want to kind of uh, either try to balance if you want more, you know, M defense versus D defense, right? So. Yeah, that makes sense. But sometimes you want to come sometimes like uh, lose some of the attack for for defense because. You know, you don't want to die. Yeah. Right. I have a question. Um, so for a GB, are archers only useful for CB or can they be used in frontline too? Um, I mean, we do frontline too, but I, I used to until my stats aren't as good. <laughs> and now I am a crystal breaker. Only because my attack is high. But would you suggest? That's it. Would you would you suggest people doing frontline over CB for archers? Well, it depends if you have a strong frontline, right? If you have a strong frontline, then no. But if you know, if you if you don't, then you would probably want to put them up front. Right. But uh, uh, like for me, I like playing front because it's more fun. <laughs> but, Sorry, you know, You're stuck I can't to ever the back do it. Cry, cry. I cry every time. Uh, every GB. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, no, what? next question. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what okay, is it? Uh, what, what utility what? pets would you suggest um, archers use during quests? Uh, I usually do five 
wind monsters and one utility. Uh, if my team has like a balanced, um, like if they have balanced uh, monsters. No, in general, if you were to just like plug a quest. Right. What right. Uh, one utility would you bring always? I usually do um, KFC, uh, Kagushichi, and mm -hmm. Shina. Why KFC and why Shina? That's Shina. Shina. <laughs> <laughs> Shina Tobe. How do you know it's Shina or Shina? It could be either. Because in Japanese, it's pronounced Shina Tobe. Guaranteed. You know what? Why don't you just answer my question? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not. That was very rude. I'm so sorry. No, because... That was rude of you to say that. KFC <laughs> is... KFC is like, you know, it, it gives me more defense. And... Say peanut so you don't die. Yeah, and... yeah, and, and Are you peanut. super squishy? <laughs> I am very squishy. So you is the best thing to have in terms of uh, bringing in for regular quests and stuff. So why use Shina? What's the well, what do you get from using Shina? It's, it's Shina. Well, not Shina. The, yeah, Shina. That's <laughs> because uh, it's because it's also a wind monster, so I get the both the. Uh, the both attacks and and it buffs crits so and that's um, where all the archer damage comes from right exactly crits is where you want it to be so if you have sheena joan and a banshee then you're golden and a valve because well, no, and just Valk, those yeah, three is not enough buffs well if you have all the buffs <laughs> then you're the best well i got a deep and a deep buff that be better too Okay. <laughs> well, we're not talking wow. about that. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Do we have any more questions? <laughs> mm. no, Why are you so mean? Should... Well, that's because my name no, no, is talk. the foul mouth Joker, right? So. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I think that's it for our <laughs> video. Uh, if you have any more questions, please comment, and Poop will answer all of them. Thank you for and watching. My name is Poop because I have a shitty mouth. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Please excuse Poop. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye.